The iPhone maker is planning a series of new Mac processors for introduction as early as next year that are aimed at outperforming Intel's fastest. For more, let's bring in Anand Srinivasan for Bloomberg Intelligence. Anand, Intel falling on the news. How bad a news is it for them? Well, I think it's a, it, this is a well-known issue that uh, Apple is moving uh, to insource silicon away from Intel, but the pace at which they're moving is a little bit surprising, Caroline. Um, I think that the second generation of its product coming so quickly after the first um, um, is, is, a, is a surprise to the fact. Um, is, it just shows you how quickly Apple can innovate and um, iterate its uh, silicon relative to um, once the first generation is announced. Anand, I am curious, when we actually start to see the impact of this on balance sheets, we know that we're in the middle of a PC upgrade cycle now. So if we don't now upgrade our PCs for an additional few years or later, when does this then start to really show up on company financials? Yeah, so the, that's, a, that's a great question. Look, we have had multiple years where there have been no upgrades to PCs, and uh, most of the upgrades have been um, coming through a refresh cycle on the corporate side. So on a relative basis, the corporate PC has been um, upgraded because of Windows 10, et cetera, but the home and the consumer PC hasn't, hasn't moved that much. Um, enter the pandemic, and we've had this mad rush to upgrade the consumer PC. And not only that, the average um, home used to have one old PC per two or three family members. Now you have, with learning from home and work from home, one PC per person. So you couple those two, there's a lot of PCs at the sidelines that need to be upgraded, PCs and Macs for that matter. And then you have the additional boost of the the school systems buying their Android-based uh, devices, uh, their Chromebooks, et cetera. And that, is, um, that adds fuel to the fire. So this could last a while, in our view, uh, both on the Mac side and the PC side. Just curious real quickly here, Anand, this, these chips at uh, Apple uh, that they're making right now, is there any potential here that we could actually see them uh, try to sell those chips to, any, to a company that's not Apple? Yeah, so that's a that's a great question, Romain. And one of the things that uh, we need to understand about Apple is that, A, it marches to its own sort of drumbeat. And if you look at all of the development um, internally that's going on, go, going on with Apple from a silicon perspective, it's to do a couple of different things. One is to drive the cadence of those uh, components to the cadence of the end product. Mm. And the second part of it is... Uh, incredibly customize those devices so that you can differentiate the end product. Um, so when you put those two together, it's highly unlikely that Apple will turn into a, a merchant silicon company, a company that sells chips to other companies. But in its own right, Apple's silicon effort is a top 10 semiconductor, uh, semiconductor yeah. supplier. So um, this is a pretty um, aggressive move yeah. on part of Apple. Yeah.